question I get a lot of times when I'm streaming is why do I use C++ for leak code? And I have my reasons, man. So a lot of people say maybe you should use Python for leak code. It's the easiest. It's so powerful. You write less code and you can just do so many things without worrying about all the other stuff. Some of the people recommend Java, like cracking the code interviewer, and not many people recommend C++, but I made a conscious decision to use C++, even though I've never used any C++ before. This was like a few years ago, back in 2019. I never had any C++ experience, but I knew one thing, man. I knew I wanted a job at a big tech company like Google or Facebook or something like that. And I knew I wanted to work in distributed systems or something. I wanted to work in infrastructure. I wanted like to work on real global scale applications. And I felt my best chances of doing that was to learn C++. So that's why I decided to get in to lead code with C++. So that's like one of the main reasons I figured if I train in C++, maybe it will get the attention of like C++ teams. Another reason, maybe a little bit silly, but I always thought people who knew C++ and coded in C++ were like some type of coding Jedis or something. Like, man, this person knows C++, they must be sick. So I think that has a little bit to do with it too. I always looked up to people, even though I didn't know what they knew. I just knew that they coded in C++, they must be hardcore, they must be super smart, and they must be dedicated to their craft. That kind of drew me in, and I wanted to get that type of reputation for myself, even though it might not be true. But I think, I still think like some people look at you if you code in C++ like, oh man, this guy must be good, or this person must be good. So that's like my second reason. And like the third reason is, I suppose everybody in competitive programming, they use C++ for it and they use it for a reason, probably because it's super fast and efficient and the standard library has so many useful things and data structures and implementations of algorithms that will help you with like solving these leak code style problems or algorithm problems. That's like the three biggest reasons why I chose C++, you know. When I roll up into an interview and the interviewer is like, all right, let's code up this problem. And I tell them, hey, I'm gonna be doing this in C++ and everyone else that they probably interviewed is like, they're gonna do it in Python or something like that. Maybe it will also make me stand out a little bit. They're like, dang, this guy's doing it in C++, that's crazy. There's so many possible mistakes you can make in C++, but like, I think if you can do it well and you can show them that you know all the ins and outs, maybe it might work in your advantage. Fourth reason or bonus reason or whatever, or why I chose C++ for leak code is, I don't have a computer science degree. And the first language I learned was like VB.net and I did like Python and JavaScript and stuff like that. But I felt like I never really understood what was going on under the hood because maybe I didn't have that CS degree. Maybe I just like never really looked into it. And I thought by learning C++, it would expose me to all the inner workings of the language because you have to do some low level stuff. You got to deal with pointers. You got to deal with memory management. I thought by just learning that it would help my programming career, my software engineering career, because now I'm forced to go learn these things and to like just teach me about how computers work in a way. So that's like the biggest reasons for me using C++ and not going with like Python, which is probably the most popular language for leak code.